Hello and welcome to this new video in the Scala playlist. In this video we continue further with the list collection. Let me create a list collection to get started. I say val well, lst is equal to list dot range let's say 1 comma 10. Execute this. So what we get is from numbers from 1 to 9. Now the first thing basic thing that we are going to learn in this is a method called as indices if I write the list dot indices method what it will give me it will just tell me what the starting index is and what the ending index is so ideally it will return us a range so the index also itself is a part of the range collection so you can see the range starting from 0 until 9 so this was one thing to get started now coming over to the next thing let me create another list val lst2 is equal to list dot range 5 comma let's say 8 so we'll get numbers 5 6 and 7 now I'm going to show you few operations that you can do within these two lists let me scroll down the first thing is let's say if I want to combine both the list together so what I can do is lst dot use the union method and say lst2 remember all the operations that we are doing on the list e every time it will return us a new list so by doing this what I'm getting is if I highlight this you'll be able to watch this clearly this is the first list from 1 to 9 and then we had the second list so union will combine two lists together but it will not remove any duplicates if you want to remove any duplicates there is a method called a distinct first let me apply that on a single list so what this will do is it will return you the distinct items or unique items similarly what you want is in case after combining if you want to remove duplicates you can use union and then dot distinct to remove any repeated items now you see there are only unique items next method is the diff method if I say lst dot diff and pass the second list over here let's see what the output of this is so what this this is this is kind of a subtraction it will do so remember the lst2 had items 5 6 and 7 and if you watch this carefully those items are missing so what the diff does is it will take all the items from list 2 and remove them from the first list which is lst next one if I say lst dot and use a method called intersect this will give me the common item between both the list let's run this so as you can see 5 6 and 7 were common between both so three different methods we have learned union to combine difference to subtract and intersect to return the common items between both the lists moving on to the next scenario let me create a new list lst 3 1 2 10 dot to list run this so we'll have numbers from 1 to 10 now we are going to learn a new method called as sliding so let's say sliding and if I just write 2 and hit enter here it will not give me a result it will only give me a result stating it has returned a iterator of list of the integer type so you'll have to convert this to list to understand the output so let's say dot to list now I can see the output so what it has done is now watch this carefully and don't get confused until now we have seen only this much list of the integer type but what we are getting is list of the list integer type so, and if you watch the carefully the output this is the parent list and inside this you have child lists over here one two three four and so onwards so that is why this is saying list of list of integer type so the master is a list which contains child list now what does sliding do remember our original numbers were 1 to 10 we said sliding 2 so 2 means it will group two items in one list and then split every item thereafter and by default it will increment every list by 1 so the first list we now know why two items are there in every list that is one thing and how, why did we get 1 comma 2 in the first list and 2 comma 3 is because after every list it will slide the item by default by one increase the number one so here we had one comma two then we'll have two comma three and four comma 
3 comma 4 and so onwards let me give you a couple of more examples if I say sliding 3 rather now what do you think we'll get output we'll have three items in each list as you can see but by default the still the numbers are increasing by 1 in case if I wanted to increase by let's say 2 so this is how I write sliding I want two items in each list then I want to increase by 2 now let us see the output so now you see 1 comma 2 and then you'll have directly 3 comma 4 so the first item will increase by 2 the second item also will be increasing by 2 than the previous one so this is how you could do and obviously you could store this in a list in this way well let me call this as multi list is equal to this and in case if you want to get the original list I mean just construct a single list out of this there is a method called as flatten what flatten does is it will just flatten out and create one single list out of the multiple list so this is how you can get back to original and one more last in this video before we end let's say I want to create a list I say list dot there is a fill method and if I say 3 and write in 10 what will this do is it will create a list with three items but all of them will be the same numbers not sure if this could come to use in a practical but this is how you should know it similarly if you wanted to create list dot fill for text you can say 4 and in this let's say I will write hello and run it will create four values or four items in the same way so this is about fill that's it in this video thanks for watching and stay tuned